Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. We are live inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room awaiting the installation of the Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station. This is a live view from the outside of the station. Now aboard the International Space Station, you can see the Cygnus cargo vehicle in view, uh, positioned right in front of the common berthing mechanism. Uh, that's where it will be actually birthed later today, after second, second stage uh, berthing. Uh, we'll go over that in just a few minutes. This is a view from the common berthing mechanism. Uh, right now, holding just a few, uh, a few meters, few centimeters actually, away from the common berthing mechanism um, uh, before before they go in, the crew inside this space station is wrapping up some exercise, uh, just constraints for the vibration environment of the space station, waiting for them to wrap up their exercise and call down that everything is clear and they can begin moving the Cygnus into its berthing position. Now we uh, regain communications, of course. These are live views. The station is now 253 statute miles uh, over the North Pacific Ocean, just south off the coast of Alaska. Now, again, we're flying at this high beta angle, uh, pretty close to the Terminator line, so the sun is still reflecting off of the structure uh, of the International Space Station. This is a view from the common berthing mechanism uh, of the International Space Station looking down directly onto uh, the window of the um uh, of the Cygnus cargo vehicle. The lights itself are coming from uh, the berthing mechanism cameras. Now, as the International Space Station flies 250 statue miles, again, hugging the horizon of the Terminator line that separates orbital nighttime from daytime, uh, we're just west off the coast of Mexico right now, flying over the Pacific Ocean. At this time, we have four uh, green-lit, ready-to-latch indicators. Um, now we'll begin a, a series of commands to drive those 16 bolts, four latches, securing the orbital ATK Cygnus into place. Four latches are secure. Now in progress are the 16 bolts. While the bolts uh, continue to drive, you can see a great view of the Cygnus cargo vehicle being uh, more and more illuminated as we're crossing over the Terminator line into an orbital daytime. Again, the pressurized volume is that metallic uh, tin can-like structure in the front and in the back are all sort of the brains of the vehicle. Uh, most prominent are you can see the white structure that's sort of at the top of the screen of the uh, of the service module in the back with all the uh, sort of foil looking components. That white structure is the CubeSat deployer that will deploy a series of of NanoRacks CubeSats um, that uh, after the vehicle has uh, uh, unloaded all of its cargo into the space station and then departed. The black structures in front are uh, the uh, LiDAR communications that sort of uh, point a laser at the space station and provide um, uh, range uh, data uh, for how close or far the Cygnus cargo vehicle is to the station uh, upon the capture procedures. Now from here in uh, Mission Control Houston, we have confirmation that all 16 bolts are driven, the four latches are secured, and we have confirmed second stage berthing of the Cygnus cargo vehicle to the International Space Station, 7.13 a.m. Central Time. The International Space Station flying 254 statue miles over the South Pacific Ocean just west off the coast of Chile.